And now it is time for number 10. <clears throat> hey everyone, I am Neon Fox Let's Plays, aka Skulk the Neon Fox, aka Skulk. And welcome to my next Let's Play. But this isn't just any Let's Play, it's Let's Play number 10. To me, I think 10 Let's Plays is a big deal, and it's room for celebration. But, anyways. We need to get this on because I haven't finished this game yet. We've only started it, but still starting it's good. Because still, number 10. We're on project number 10. Let's play number 10. It's amazing. Let's get started. Kane Island, the South Pacific, 1.15 a.m. Wow, that's actually really close to the time I'm actually recording this. Because I'm recording this at like 1.07. So yeah, almost that time. And Kane Island, nice name, developers, really. Such a clever name. Ha, they didn't even know I hit them. Oh, we all know who this is. It's finally the return of our furry friend, everyone. You know, his name. Sly Cooper the Thief. Yes, it is. But anyways, hey everyone, I am Neon Fox Let's Plays, and finally, it is time to start... Let's play number 10, Sly 3, Hathor Medal, Thief of Nador. I mean, Honor Among Thieves. Okay. Bit of a mess up right there, but. Yeah. So, anyways, yes, Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves. Yay! Do another Sly Cooper game. So, anyways, I'm Scoping and Fox. I will be your commentator, as I have been for the last nine Let's Plays. Because really. <laughs> There hasn't really been a commentator else on my channel, except for Lil Mad Mad, but I'm the main one. This is my channel. I know how to do my Let's Plays. I know what I said, the dingus. So yes, I have planned for this to be my 10th Let's Play ever since I started Sly 1. Yes, that's how long I've planned this to be my 10th Let's Play. But anyways, let's get started. This is it, Sly. The gang's assembled and are in position to help you get up to that vault. For the rest of the operation, you are the ball. Oh, geez, great well, name. I'm starting my approach. Getting over these fortress walls shouldn't be a problem. Look, we're running five by five here. Make sure everyone's insane. Five by five? I hear that. Artillery, sure you can make that shot? I endeavor not to miss. Excellent. Radio control. In position. Recovery team. Our pumps. Submersibles. Showtime, baby. Telekinetic. Alright, it's the crime of the century and the ball's in motion. Whoa. Wait a minute. This is very different than what we're used to playing with. There's more to the Cooper gang? Shocking. Yes, but anyways, here it is, guys. Slide 3. What was once thought to be the last of the Cooper series, now we know it is actually part of a tetralogy because Slide 4 is going to be coming out in 2012. Yay! So yes, it's time to start Sly 3 on this creepy island, and as you saw there, we only could recognize two people, just Sly and Bentley, so there's more to the Cooper gang than we know. How mysterious, that's so deep, what does it all mean? Yeah, anyways, it's just basic stuff, just like the beginning level of Sly 2. Bentley, shut up! And mysterious lady that I don't know the name of yet, because I'm talking, this is my let's play. I know what I'd want, and I know what I want to do. The ball has stopped rolling. We've got an obstruction. Uh -huh. Whoa! Okay, so we definitely have some more additional help than we did last time. Ew, there's goopy slime on that. Well, what is he doing? Oh my god! Dude! That almost fell on me! Guys, you need to be more careful. Jeez, that could have landed on me and killed me. And then the mission would have been over. Good job, Bentley. You almost killed Sly. And that's why I don't like you. As you notice, he's wearing a helmet. Because apparently Bentley's very special. He's a special case. Special turtle. Door via Agent Monarch. Over. Agent Monarch? Oh, that sounds cool. <gasps> Ooh, a firework! Fourth of July! Oh, well. Okay. Dick can do that too. 
fireworks can't actually do that. Okay, Bentley, shut up. We know what to do. So anyways, yes, uh, Sly 3 is... Bentley! Shut up! So, Sly, uh, Sly 2. Sly 3 is a lot like Sly 2, uh, compared to Sly 1. Like, there's a lot of similarities, just basically, in layout and stuff. And a lot of the controls, too. So, if you're new to Sly 3, which... I think we just kind of screwed up Bentley's talking there by accidentally going to first-person view. But I don't meet that mysterious stranger. He's so deep. Literally, he's really deep under the water. Deep Six. That's a lame name. What does a six stand for? Doctor M. Who's this? What's his name? Mike. Mark, sir. And who is this, Mark? I have an uncle named Mark. This could be him. Hmm? Sorry, Richards, but I don't tolerate poor performance. You shouldn't change the security code from one, two, three after you install the new system. That's like such Are the basic cool? password. No, you'll die any second now. What? Oh my god. Yes, water leaking into the lab. I'm on my way down. Oh, and... Get a janitor for the lab elevator. Dude! Richard's got sloppy. We lost Richard! I already lost Arpeggio! I can't deal with this anymore! I'm joking. Who's Richards? I'm on route to your position for the loot Okay, whatever. And I don't have no idea how they didn't notice us there. It's crazy. But anyways, this guy... What? So this Dr. M. He's so evil. What is... Okay, I'm gonna stop making that joke now. I know what I said. But, oh my god. This is, this is a crazy game. But anyways, we should be able to make it through here without any more interruptions. Without being caught by that Mr. M, because I don't want to meet him. He seems scary. Uh, hold on. Let's just get up here. Oh, crap! Crap. How did that happen? I'm usually more careful than this. Okay. Let's put in that password that we just heard. Okay, one. Two, uh, two, three. It's just like that song. I'm like those one things. What are they called? Oh yeah, that's right. Numbers. And integers. So all those things were working on that and they couldn't get it open and yet all we have to do is this. Seriously, game? I don't buy that for a second. Look at the other way! The keeper? Ooh. This vault belongs to the Cooper family. You're Wait, what vault? No, my naive boy, you're trespassing. No, I'm, I'm trespassing. This fortress is mine. Everything here is mine. Which now moves the key to the vault. And the key. No! Sorry, pal. Family heirloom. Buy a knockoff at the gift shop. <laughs> Whoa! Is that Bentley? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. So I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are wondering, it's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Why is Bentley in a wheelchair? Yeah, we'll see that in a second. I have to admit, Sly 3 is pretty cool in terms of uh, plot storylines. And woo, that's so much fun. But it's dangerous. Don't do that at home, kids. Not that you would have a giant laser-filled elevator corridor like that. Do you? What house do you live in? What model do you have? Go. Hurry. <laughs> Let's hurry! Bentley, why are you in a wheelchair? Well, we'll find out that in just all, all in a second. Just be patient. We make it out here. Great, but I don't even know where we're at. The okay, awesome. Oh, uh, oh. No that thing is ugly, and so is that. Okay, great. I guess we gotta fight this thing. Uh, there's no way we're gonna be able to win against this fight. D oh man, he hit me. Well, yeah, you're never gonna, of course, gonna win against this fight. Cause after you hit him once, this happens. Shut up, Bentley. We're trying to save you. 
Shuffle, I'm trying to save you. Okay. Wait, no, wait, what are you doing? What are you... Uh, Sly, come on. That's... That's just stupid. You're not making rational decisions. But then again, you never make rational decisions when you're under pressure. Um... That was mine. Oh, great. Now we're stuck. Thanks, Bentley. It's like they always say, your life really does flash before your eyes. There it all was, stretching back to my childhood. Born into a family of master thieves that went back for generations, I was next in line to continue the Cooper name. But fate had different plans. I was robbed of my childhood when a ruthless gang attacked our home. The orphanage I landed in wasn't all bad. It was there that I met my lifelong friends. Bentley, he's always been the thinker. And Murray, he's the doer. We'd stuck together over the years, and our skill, our confidence, and our thieving reputation grew stronger with each heist. We thought that the good times would never end, and that our luck would never run out. Which only made things tougher when the odds finally caught up with us. Then I met this guy, McSweeney, who claimed to have run with my father's crew back in their heyday. They pulled jobs all over the world, and amassed quite a collection of priceless items. It was then that McSweeney told me all about the Cooper Vault. It seemed that my father, like all my ancestors, had been hiding their wealth in a secret place for generations, each one adding to the treasure hidden behind a door that if McSweeney's story is true, only a Cooper can open. Using some well-placed clues provided by McSweeney, we set out for the secret island that held the vault. On arriving, we discovered someone by the name of Dr. M had already set up shop. From the looks of it, he'd been trying to crack the thing for years, growing steadily more frustrated in his failures, and more paranoid as the decades rolled by. He built himself a fortress, with security as tight as Fort Knox. Getting inside the place would take precision, creativity, and moreover, it would take an army of world-class thieves. Finding and bringing together that much talent won't be easy, but to get inside the Cooper vault and collect my inheritance, I was willing to pay the price. Ooh, the heist of the century. But seems like we need more than just Bentley, Sly, and Murray. So we gotta amass ourselves a super awesome thieving team. Yay. But before we can do that, sadly, the game's not going to let you do anything else, but it's going to make you do something called the Hazard Room. And the Hazard Room sucks. Basically, it's just a tutorial area. Yeah. Like, I need that. And if we're going to make it to the Cooper Vault, we'll need to perfect our thieving skills. I'm already I'm good! I'm this place to push us to our limits. Barely. I'm guessing these levers start the different trainers. That's right. Each will initiate a streamlined crash course in grand larceny. Grand larceny. And we'll get things started. Dish it out. I'm ready. So before you can do any episodes or any challenge whatsoever... Uh, they, the game will make you do the hazard room, and they'll make you do the first two challenges. Yeah, uh, I know, it sucks. How am I gonna get lost in this room, Batman? Where? Where is it? I don't see it, guys. Where is it? You think it could be that blue thing over there? I don't think it is. Oh, it was! Shocking. This is all stuff that we learned in slide 2. It's really stupid. <sighs> Game. We already know how to do this. Try clicking the L3 button a few more times to get the hang of it. Okay, 
ten. This is like at least ten times right there. Let's play number ten. Ten. It's the number. And ten divided by three is point three 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 three, as in slide three. Ow. Like I did like try to do like the Home Alone face, but I end up slapping my head against my. My hand against my headphones and it hurt. Yay! I'm smart. Oh my god! Like, dude, this is video gaming. Like, I don't already know the double jump. What's next? Basics. Come on, game, really? Guys, we really don't need tutorials on this. Seriously. It's using the freaking right analog stick. Really? Really. Oh my god. So yeah, basically the game thinks that it needs to hold your hand through the beginning of the game. Like, we don't really know this stuff. Anytime you start a file, you have to do this. So basically, no matter if you're a seasoned player or if you're beginning, you have to do the first two challenges. After that, you never have to come back here again. Which I won't, because I don't think this is required for 100% completion, so... If it is, then damn. Because, I mean, this is all easy stuff. If you really want me to show you guys the hazard room, I will, but I don't think I really need to. Oh, that was so hard. And I really don't like the new job complete look. I like the one from Sly 2 a lot better, because Sly looked evil with his eyes. And so we have to do this second one, too. Like... I don't see the point in doing these two. <laughs> Go to hell. Oh my god. I don't think I'll ever remember how to do ninja spire jumps. See, I mean, come on. This is all basic stuff. Oh well. It's let's play number 10. Let's not get angry at it. But I think after this, uh... Tutorial thing. I think I'm getting out the video here, guys, because uh, we're pulling up on like almost 20 minutes. <laughs> Second story. Now it's just using the circle button. I mean, these aren't honestly all that hard. If you seriously need help with this and you must be a beginner or you hopelessly suck at the Sly Cooper series. But yeah, hazard room. So much of a hazard, there are a lot more dangerous stuff in this room. I guess it's pretty good if you're a beginner, but we don't really need it. Yay! So finally now we can leave and actually go take on the first episode. Which we're gonna have to do next time, guys. We're all done in here. Let's head outside and get this operation underway. Yeah, but I think we're also done with this video too. So next time on Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves, we will start the first episode, guys. I will see you guys next time. Let's play number 10. So excited.